Stephen had some to say about the James Harden and Dwayne Wade debate. He spoke on first take and responding to Jeff Teague about who was better, and he made it clear on taking Dwayne over Harden. Check out the audio. So who's the better all-time shooting guard? Is it D-Wade or James Harden? Well, to me, it's D-Wade. But I, I, I'm listen, mad respect to Je- Jeff Teague, who could ball, um, good dude as well, and, and props to the podcast, 520 Podcast, with what they're doing. But let me say this to Jeff Teague. You know better. And because you know it's a team sport. Yes, individually, one-on-one, James Harden was absolutely spectacular and unstoppable. The handle, the step-back threes, the shooting ability of the prowess. D-Wade could never shoot the three like Harden could shoot the three. No doubt about that. He wasn't the one-on-one player that Harden was. So I understand what Jeff Teague is saying. But the reason I'm challenging him in terms of saying you know better, because you know that's not all it entails. You got to know how to be a team player. You can't recruit players, and every time you recruit them, you want them out. James Harden's a future Hall of Famer. I love James Harden. Mad respect to him. And I do think there's entirely too much shade that is thrown on his abilities. I do think the shade is appropriate on his shoulders, however, if you take into account the fact that he never really seems to be happy. You wanted Dwight Howard, and then you didn't want him. You wanted Chris Paul, and then you didn't want him. You wanted Russell Westbrook, and then you didn't want him. Everything that you wanted from Daryl Morey, Daryl Morey gave you in terms of the coaches you wanted out and the coaches you wanted in. You were pacified in Houston for years, okay? D-Wade didn't necessarily require that. He understood the culture belonged to Pat Riley, not himself. That Eric Spolstra was the coach that Pat Riley chose. That he had to be a leader. Yes, LeBron arrived there because of D-Wade. But I remember when Shaq arrived there. Shaq wasn't in his prime anymore. It was D-Wade that delivered that championship against the Dallas Mavericks, averaging over 37 in the last four games after being down 0-2. It was Alonzo Mourning and the Mavericks feared more so than Shaquille O'Neal at that particular point because of Alonzo Mourning and shot blocking ability and prowess. So Jeff Teague is an NBA veteran, highly intelligent. He understands this. He knows what comes with it. Look at the teammates that they have with one another. That's nothing to slouch at if you look at Harden, Durant, Paul, Embiid, Irvin, Dwight Howard, and Russell Westbrook, and you haven't won a championship? Come on now. It's about knowing how to play together. It's about knowing how to sacrifice. It's about knowing how to lead, not just recruit. I understand that James Harden, one-on-one, he's lethal. As far as I'm concerned, you can make an argument outside of Jordan and Kobe. Who you going to pick? Harden's right Mm -hmm. in that conversation. But in the end, more comes to it than just that, which is why D. Wade has three rings and Harden has none.